What's up everybody, back again with another raid guide and today we're taking a look at the 9 on Mythic Difficulty. Now I'll be going over most of the mechanics, how to deal with them and our overall tactic for this fight. Now setup wise you want to go with 2 tanks, 5 to 6 healers and 12 to 13 DPS and I'll go over why in a bit. Bit. So what is new for our Moss Warns on Mythic? Well there's a few things that have changed or been added but nothing that really drastically changes how you deal with the encounter. One of the bigger mechanics is that you now get fragments of destiny from start to finish rather than after Skidja lands. Following this, after you've defeated Signa and Kira, they'll use their 100 energy abilities every now and then while you're fighting Skidja. So they'll overlap sometimes with different mechanics like Massacre Line 2.0 and the like. But it's really just a case of react when it happens. Same way as you can react to me on Twitch. So yeah, all in all nothing major has happened apart from numerical tuning and the two aforementioned mechanics. So how do we deal with this in the simplest way? Well for the Fragments of Destiny what we did was have a designated healer mark himself and called out each fragment one by one. It's wherever he was and then dispel them one by one. So kinda like X player come out, gets dispelled, Y player come out, gets dispelled, until they're gone and you spawn a pool. Now there's no super stress to get rid of them, just the longer it takes the more healing is required. But by doing it this way it was very simple to organize and to control where you spawned all the frost patches. You can also have all the players targeted by fragments move out and you dispel one, they move back in, dispel the next, etc. until a patch spawns. So whichever works better for you. As for the rest of the fight it's pretty straightforward and plays out kinda like like the fight does on heroic, just that everything hurts way more. And it's for that reason I recommend using up to 6 healers to just make it easy. There are no DPS checks, there's no push timings, heck there's no enrage, there is however a lot of raid damage. So by adding one more healer or two more healers just make the fight easier. Slower but easier. Just heal for it. Now apart from that you want to assign 2 to 3 DPS to interrupt Cygnus Song of Dissolution, you really don't want it to go off at all and have the entire raid stack on top of the bosses at all time and you only move to dodge mechanics or move out with a mechanic like if you have a circle around you or you get fragments otherwise just stack on bosses and you always want to soak Arthurus crushing gaze the meteor with as many players as possible preferably right on top of the bosses make sure high mobility players prio soak falling strike circles in the back and make sure both Signa and Kira reaches 20% roughly at the same time which is where skill lands. As soon as Skidja has landed you want to pop Bloodlust and finish off Signa and Kira. And following this it's pretty much rinse repeat and dodging your abilities as they happen. You deal with fragments in the same way, you dodge Massacre 2.0 lines, soak meteors, soak falling strike circles, get out with big and small circles and if you get things like Wings of Rage overlapping you just need to dodge while getting pulled in. So if possible use something like Windrush or Roar if you have them available. Tanks, you want to swap at 3 stacks in phase 2 or on Skidja. We tried swapping at 2 but halfway through Skidja she just started using them more frequent for some reason so and yeah that's pretty much it. All in all there is no big brain strat here just dodge stuff and heal. Now if you have any questions at all about this encounter hit me up in the comments or become a patron and get access to the stanky discord where you can find raid week or as healing notes and get help with anything raiding related. Don't forget the usual stuff like comment subscribe and ring that notification bell. I'm also streaming all of our progression on Twitch so make sure to check that out Mondays and Tuesdays. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.